Assalamu alaikum, welcome back ninjas, uh, greeting you with the best greeting in the world, peace be upon you, my name is Muhammad and welcome to my YouTube channel, Tech Utopia. So yes, we have finally in my hands the Umity G Power 3 ninjas, finally, finally, this is really exciting, it's exciting news for me and for all of you, because this is gonna be a full unboxing and full review, many different samples, my reviews are really long because I show a lot of different stuff. Anyway, you can have the buying links in the description ninjas to buy this super budget cheap Phone from China and it just the main selling points of this one is a huge battery above 6150 mh battery it has Helio P60 4 gigs of RAM 64 gigs of storage quad camera on the back 48 megapixel main sensor 60 megapixel selfie camera Android stock experience Android Q Android 10 yes the, this is a G right now is offering the best price tags for the latest Android versions and of course we have a three sim cards inside of this beast ninjas and a multifunctional NFC so many great features that not any single smartphone can offer you for this price tag. That's why UmiDG are, are, is getting popular as a brand, especially also in EU and USA, United States. Anyway, the buying links in the description. Let's go now, firstly, with unboxing. Enjoy! Here we go, Nijaz. Ni hao, double doshli nazad, kakus te shtamai, benvenuti, ke pasa. Anyway, Nijaz, so check it out, check it out. You can buy the Yumi DG Power 3 on AliExpress and also you can buy it on Banggood. Of course, I'm gonna just show you right now, it's the same price tag. So if you prefer the Banggood with the points earned, you can also use the Banggood for the shipping, is example, for my country is 2.30, so $2. For some countries, it's gonna be cheaper, for some, it's gonna be a bit more expensive. Anyway, let's go now and see what do we have in the box voila ninjas here we go a case yes uh, super classical a uh, unique style of the uh, yumi digi brand love the case so we have here the pump charge support so this one offers 18 watts fast charging support and also the super cool neat feature of the yumi digi uh, power 3 it is the reverse charging so you can also charge different smartphones uh, yes ninjas really really hard to find some kind of these kind of features for this super low price tag under 170 dollars remember uh, the regular price is 170 bucks for this one super pro promotions prices are for 150 bucks anyway and also manuals inside with the sim uh, sim pin to open your dual sim acceptable slot let's go now move our hands to this beauty check it out there check it check 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 by the way ninjas i'm get, not gonna mention the bands uh, into the review so you can just pause this video and check all these uh, 4g lte bands yes fully usable in eu there is and usa there is 28b bands for the spirit you can save yourself and many other usa bands which are using different networks the different LTE bands. Ninjas, let me present to you this beauty Power 3 from Humidig Company. I'm really honored to hold this device. It's a, such a great phone regarding the visual aspect there. Wow, what a beast. What a beast, Ninjas. Check this out. So this is Ninjas on the back. This is completely polycarbonate material. Kind of Ninjas, this is not a plastic uh, super cheap plastic feeling or something like that it feels like it's or even like kind of a rubber or something like that but again not a rubber don't think like don't think it in a wrong way but this is not metal on the back and it's not like a classical plastic which you have with the cheaper devices remember that anyway uh, red color it's beautiful check it out how beautiful this is on the on the on, of course on the on the back where the cameras you can see myself this beautiful look four cameras quad camera 48 megapixel camera lens ultra wide zoom uh, of course macro lens zoom lens and we have a fingerprint sensor there, which we're gonna test just in a minute. Humidity logo. And regarding the thickness of this uh, device, 10.3 uh, millimeter ninjas for 6,150 mAh battery. This is really good. This is really good. And the heaviness, 200 and. Uh, 18 to let's just say 220 grams let's just say 220 grams so again dimension wise look wise this is a stunner device honestly this is a stunner device just check how beautiful uh, this device looks and it looks very sharp the colors are really great uh, viewing angles again decent decent this is not an amoled panel not even ltps technology but again for lcd ips this is decent viewing angles check it out i'm going to use later on a different wallpaper, wallpaper also maybe with the more punchy colors so ninjas yes we have have on the top what do we have on the top nothing on the left side we have dual sim acceptable slot with uh, three slots inside ninja so you can put sd card you can put two sim cards in the same time and on the bottom we have type usb port microphone 3.5 millimeter, millimeter headphone jack and one speaker grill so ninja you can see by yourself that the panel itself it's separated from the from the frame so this is really good and also it's very very curved so that's why it feels really thin in the hands even if it's on paper 10.3 millimeters it's very very thin in the hands and just you can see by yourself i can access the 
the whole area with my thumb from here to there, from left to the right. So again, I do have a larger, uh, a bit larger uh, hands, maybe for some, a little bit uh, tiny uh, girlish hands, this is gonna be really difficult to use with one hand. But again, a beast, super large display. I mean, just let's move to the display itself. So like we mentioned, it has many great features, which we said that a lot of things are packed with this device. I already mentioned, of course, the battery capacity, the cameras, uh, the super large display. Also, we're gonna go here and show you that it's running on the latest update, the latest version of this. Uh, of course software which is close to the Android stock experience so you can see myself 2020 ninjas from January 16 yep super super fresh and also we're gonna maybe just show you right now here the security patch where is the security patch for us here we tap Android version it's from December so almost two months old almost two months old ninjas not bad not bad not bad for 150 bucks I can't ask for more Halo P60 processor which we're gonna mention in the minute minute multifunctional NFC support you can go through the of course network uh, and wait a minute it's in the Bluetooth sanction uh, section so you can see by self connection preferences NFC files received via Bluetooth Chromebook uh, cast uh, Bluetooth connections over there man great great device and also what I, meant, I forgot to mention global LTE bands 4G volt in the same time anyway let's move to the display panel I said so many things about this device at the beginning so sorry this video will be really really long I'm gonna show you many different samples with this beauty over here and many different tests let's go with the panel with the display review right now here we go ninjas please check this panel check this display wow 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 what a sharp what a beautiful colors of this panel 6.53 inches full HD plus full view display more screen more immersive so ninjas this is a great great panel oh my god just these vessels on the side and on the top they are so thin even this even on the bottom the vessels are super thin just check, just check here the, the black color, that's really impressive for IP, uh, IPS LCD panel here. I'm blown away by the quality of it. I, I Yes, I know that I praised Umidigi in the screen department, but this over here for 150 bucks, wow, what a, what a panel, what a panel, bro. You can see that because that's so super bright. But overall, uh, overall experience here, I highly recommend this device for YouTube, for watching YouTube, browsing, gaming, etc. Et Obviously, the visual aspect of that. Okay ninjas, check this out, check this out, the, the split screen option here, how smooth and fast and responsive this Humidity Power 3 is with the Halo P60. In some cases, Halo P60 is even better optim optimized than Halo P70 ninjas and Halo P90. Can you believe it? Halo P60, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated chipsets ever produced on the market. When I'm looking at the Exynos, Kirin, MediaTek and Qualcomm, the MediaTek Halo P60, in my opinion, it belongs in the top three most underrated chipsets uh, of all time. Honestly, of all time, bro. Halo P60 is one of my favorite chipsets that I reviewed so far since I started doing this job, Ninjas. Anyway, uh, you can see myself super uh, responsive. Let's check here the typing, the keyboard, the touch, touch sensitivity. Blown away, blown away. Again, very, uh, very strong hectic vibration. And also on the edge, the touch sensitivity uh, and input lag itself, it's not as noticeable at all. You're gonna be more than satisfied using this device as your everyday, uh, of course, uh, personal smartphone for typing, messaging, etc., etc. So this is the screen review of the Umidigi Power 3. I highly recommend it, Ninjas. Quickly, we just, we just gonna go to the settings and show you regarding the display here, uh, of course, options uh, we can go with the night light of course you can enable the blue light filter or however they call it uh, what I can see here that it does have lift to wake up feature so you can just lift it up like that and it's gonna wake up and what we can see here and we can see that there is no adaptive brightness is there but there is no white balance uh, settings ninjas unfortunately they don't have with this Android stock experience of the Umidigi they don't have this option so maybe this is gonna be a small downside for some people who love to adjust like a warm cool light effect of the display nevertheless the fold setup here the calibration of the screen in my for my eyes for my taste is amazing from 1 to 10 for the price tag giving it 9 score very high score for such a cheap price uh, anyway let's go next Anyway, big job. I have to admit, when Umidigi does a really bad thing, I say it, but when they do something really good, I also praise them for that, Ninjas. This is a great panel, a great smartphone, uh, uh, design-wise and screen-wise. 
Okay, so Ninjas uh, Performance and Hardware Halo P60 Ninjas. Yes, you get the Halo P60 with the UMIDG Power 3 octa core chipset built on 12 nanometer chip technology, clocked at uh, 2 GHz, uh, like you see by itself. Uh, we have a Mali G72, a 3 core GPU, clocked at 700 MHz. Let me just show you right now here, full HD plus resolution. Uh, we can also show you, the, of course, the thermals and some uh, the sensors. The battery itself, we're going to leave on the end. But let's go now, firstly, uh, with the speed test and uh, reopening the apps and uh, RAM management here. Check it out how fast this beast it is, Ninjas. Halo P60, like I said, I repeat again, it is one of the most underrated chipsets ever made. Not just like a, made at a company, but overall taking all brands in account. Check it out how fast it is and how it reopens. Super buttery smooth, Ninjas. Check these, uh, check these animations, how quick they are. You can obviously disable them, but they are super smooth in my opinion. So yes, Ninjas, we have 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, SD card expansion. We're gonna just go to device information. If you are into these details, you can just pause this video if you are interested in them. So yes, SD card expansion. We have fingerprint sensor on the back. Uh, regarding the sensors, let's just go quickly to the sensors. Yes, this device has accelerometer, light, proximity sensor, magnometer, and gyroscope yes gyroscope is also included uh, like i mentioned at the beginning i showed you the lt bands i don't want to uh, mention them right now because it's a huge list you can just pause my video at the beginning dual sim acceptable slot it has uh, of course dual band wi-fi bluetooth 5.0 version sorry for that one i've been swiping down anyway the camera department also you can here uh, try to focus and maybe pause the video if I, because if i'm too quick for you a gps beidou galileo glonus and gps we have uh, nfc support audio jack Radio FM, OTA, OT, OTG, Tethering, and Voltine. Just yes, many great features are packed in a, such a cheap device. 150 bucks to 170 dollars. Let's just even say 170 dollars. This is a really great device, Ninja. Honestly, this is a really great device. Anyway, uh, what else can I show you right now here? We can just go to DRM, uh, DRM info. There's the L3 security lever. So obviously you can't watch Netflix in 1080p resolution. Uh, also we have, oh, which, which we, me, later on, maybe I'm gonna show you the uh, SOC. Level three, uh, you can see by itself that uh, hardware support level is full, but there's no level three security. So uh, again, you will have to uh, wonder and you've, try to use maybe a different third-party app the gcam right now there is no uh, support for it there's no level 3 support you can see by some anyway maybe they can have a cracked version i, I heard that they have some kind of cracked versions of the gcams for human dg devices with the meta tech chipsets anyway let just let's go next so just before I finish uh, with the, the uh, of course, performance-wise, the performance review, like I do step-by-step step ninjas, you can also here go to the GPU graphics details and see, oh, here it says it's clocked at 8 megahertz, 800, not 700 megahertz, it's interesting. And the G-flops, it's 81.6 ninjas, remember that. You can use this app, it's called uh, SOCL 2.0 version, and you can uh, obviously even compare different chipsets in the same price range. Yeah. Anyway, what a beast, what a beast. We said it has Android 10Q and also you can see by self here over the notification pull up uh, bar, if, whatever you call it. We have super screenshot. You can screenshot like that. You can use a different shapes. You can also use screen recorder, battery saver, hotspot screencast and uh, night light. Dark theme is also enabled with the UmiDG uh, devices, even super cheap. You may copy your data. No, I'm not gonna use, uh, use it right now, later tomorrow, tomorrow remind me. So you can use, uh, they, they have this option even in an $80 cheap uh, UmiDG phone. Can you believe it, Ninjas? It's really too f uh, hard to find a brand that offers uh, dark mode in a super cheap phones. So yeah, check it out how smooth this is. Battery, battery smooth. Ninja, sorry for this long review, but I'm so excited regarding this device that I want to spend and maybe even make one hour review of this device, how good it is. Yes, there are some downsides and we're gonna mention them, I already mentioned a few of them, but we're gonna mention in this review, so follow up uh, till the end. I'm gonna go now to pray Salat al Isha. See you later. Okay, of course, what is the review without the sound review, the audio review? To the, right now, we're gonna check obviously the speaker, the 3.5 mm headphone jack, FM radio, and mic test. Let's begin with the YouTube Max Volume.
Okay, you just so you get the point. Flat, uh, flat, sa- flat sound. I have to admit, uh, there's no bass at all in this speaker whatsoever. But uh, what is interesting that Umidi smartphone somehow uh, in the gaming side it has louder speaker. While in YouTube, I don't know if is it a software bug or something like that. In just, but again, loudness from one to ten, giving it six. In just, this is really average quality speaker with the Umidi Umidi G Power Three. Even the Umidi G uh, A5 Pro can uh, win against this one. Can you believe it? Which is one hundred dollars. The Umidi G A5 Pro has a better speaker than the Umidi G uh, Power 3. I don't know, v- really, really uh, kind of odd, very odd. Again, every single Xiaomi device can beat Umidi G Power 3 in the audio side of the audio speaker. Let's go now with the 3.5 mm for Jack. Okay, Ninjas, headphones, the output, very loud, very loud, very loud. This loop station, voices only. Yep, uh, man, from 1 to 10, giving it 8 score for the audio uh, side of uh, the volume output from 3 for my mini telephone jack. It's really good. And somehow, sound chip regarding that feature, it is better than the using the uh, main uh, audio speaker on the bottom. Interesting. Let's go with the FM radio. Here you go. It works. You can obviously, when you connect the headphones, you can go to the speakers. Like you see myself, back to earphones. Okay, let's test here the mic quality using the third-party app from Play Store. Mic check. This is the mic check, mic check, Umidi G Power 3. It's uh, 40 centimeters away from my mouth. Mic test, mic test. Uh, right now, Umidi G is just a few centimeters away from my mouth. Uh, my regular check, my mic quality test. And loudness all together. Check. Okay, let me use right now even the stock voice, uh, of course, app. We're, we're going to see if there's any difference. Okay, this is the stock uh, audio recorder. Let's play it. I just recorded something. Mic check, mic check. Uh, Umidi G Power 3 in my hands. It's 40 centimeters away from my mouth. One, two, one, two. This is a mic check. My mouth is just a few centimeters away right now. Check, 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 check. Okay, so the third party app has a better noise cancellation while this one is a bit louder than just again the speaker itself here I can even see in this department that it's not loud in just average from 1 to 10 I'm giving it 6 regarding the loudness mic quality giving it 7 for the price tag Yes, every single Xiaomi device has a better speaker than the Umidi G Power 3, Redmi 7, Redmi 8, Note 5, Note 6, Note 7, Note 8, all of them with this price tag of 150 to 170 are better in the audio side uh, So just have that in mind Okay, my beautiful ninja. So let's do the face ID and fingerprint sensor with the Umidi G Power 3. Let's begin with the face ID already enrolled my face. Few attempts so far, really fast and surprisingly really good for. I'm, I can't believe it, ninjas. This is probably the fastest face ID unlocking system right now in Umidi G phones. Yes, I'm uh, making a point there on Umidi G phones. I don't remember that any Umidi G smartphone was using and opening unlocking with this speed uh, regarding the face ID. Great job, great do- uh, great job, Umidi G regarding the Power 3. Let's go now with the fingerprint sensor on the back. You can see it by itself. This tap one, tap again. I can feel the. The, I could feel that the, basically the vibration or the fingerprint that it was recognized but the screen wake up time it's a bit slow ninjas honestly it's a bit slow they will have to improve that inshallah in the future yes it's a bit slower here more than maybe half second in my opinion face ID is more optimized interesting very interesting so face ID ninjas it's it's faster in my opinion face ID it is faster you can see by itself as soon as I unlock it it's under half second while the fingerprint sensor it's above half second to unlock it check this out recognized okay that was fast but right now this second attempt was a bit longer check it out Again, it is reliable. It did recognize all my fingerprints, uh, all my finger attempts right now. So again, it's decent. It's decent. F- f- uh, finger, uh, face ID, it's more than decent. It's really, really good. The fingerprint sensor, screen wake up time needs optimization in the future. Let's go next. Let's go next. What a beautiful device, Ninjas. I'm still blown away by the design and this display. Ninjas, dear Ninjas, so the power, yes, like the model name states, the power in the battery, 6150 mAh battery, that's a crazy battery life, Ninjas, that's honestly crazy battery life, and indeed it has, easily you can get around 10 to 12 hours screen on time, one of the best 
if not the best smartphone right now for this price tag regarding the battery life in in if you are into that easily two days of use without any problem whatsoever and just yes it has 18 watts fast charge support and 10 watts uh, reverse charging with the otg adapter already included in the box so you don't have to buy it separately just have that in mind umdg states that you can get around 10 hours gaming screen on time 28 29 hours of video playback ninjas and 55 hours of voice calls that's impressive that's impressive and ninjas please make sure to watch my better review of this device for more details uh, i'm gonna share in that video for now it's a huge pass get it get it get it come on bro be a rumble style don't wait like a small rat go in action let's go let's go <laughs> so there's no 60 fps support yet but it's running really good bro oh he almost killed me i'm gonna try to kill him from the other side wow what impressive 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 frame rate here and smoothness and i love this full display mode check it out how beautiful it is to play it like this ninjas Okay, so regarding the uh, camera department, uh, you're gonna have few samples in this review, but uh, I would highly advise you to check my separate in-depth camera review of this device for more samples. Quad cameras on the back, Ninjas, depth sensor, five megapixel, ultra wide camera, uh, ultra camera, basically the main camera is 48 megapixel and ultra wide camera is on the bottom, 120 degrees, 30 megapixel. And also we have a macro lens, it's five megapixel Ninjas. Of course, we have a flashlight over there and a front selfie camera, uh, it is 16 megapixel Ninjas. So very high resolutions for selfie camera and on the back camera remember that this device uh, with the future with the latest update added slow motion added panorama and also added a stable and walking portrait mode camera shot ninjas before after unboxing the portrait mode didn't even work at all trust me it didn't work at all uh, again maybe sad news it doesn't support 4k only 1080p but good news that selfie camera supports full hd video sample ninjas highly recommend this device uh, regarding the overall experience uh, somehow this camera has better uh, better features and better it gives you better performance than the umidg f2 which is 30 bucks more expensive i don't get it honestly i don't get it at all anyway uh, redmi devices redmi note 7 and note 8 still are better in the camera department fact is a fact let's go with the camera samples video samples and picture samples all together umidg power 3 Assalamu alaikum ninjas, peace be upon you and welcome back. So this is the full camera view of the UMIDG Power 3 finally in my hands. Probably you're wondering how it's so smooth and stable because I'm using a gimbal ninjas. By the way, also you can see by yourself here the explosion dynamic range. Exposure, not that good. Again, you can see by yourself that you can barely see my face. Still handheld, circling, looking at the sky. UMIDG Power 3. Honestly, I'm telling you, this is one of the probably one of the best AMDG smartphones for this price tag regarding the camera side. Okay, just so this is the front selfie camera test with the UMDG Power 3. Uh, good thing that it has a self uh, face recognition feature, so basically it's not gonna uh, lose you with it out of focus like you see by self. Uh, I'm gonna show it probably in my review uh, how it looks like over the stock camera app. Nevertheless, this is the video test handheld. I'm gonna also show you with the gimbal. Let's go. Mets, 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 mets. If Haluk, alaikum. On from what with the for basically around 150 bucks, look what kind of stability you can get. Uh, UMIDG Power 3 does have a kind of nice UMIDG Power 3 handheld video test. Testing here the video stability. This is Marketplace in Bosnia. I mean, it's a decent uh, video stability, but not as good as like with the example Xiaomi Redmi Note. Okay, Ninjas, this is the macro lens, and man, for the price tag, this is really impressive. It makes really amazing macro video shots. You can see by yourself how close I am to these details. That's crazy. Again, one more sample. It's a bit shaky because I'm holding with my hands, but very impressive, very impressive, bro. So close. Okay, Ninjas, this is handheld ultra wide camera lens shot. Unfortunately, uh, you can't change from ultra wide to regular, uh, of course, telephoto lens. Just recording in the same time, just with one single lens. 
walking in chain you can judge by self the video quality video stability with the ultimate in my life <laughs> Okay, it's uh, time to give you my impressions and to summarize this video and just the cons of this device. Sometimes uh, it, uh, the sound is not working, the speaker is not working again. Uh, it happens regarding using the camera or using the voice recorder, but it happens only one or two times a day and it only lasts, this bug lasts only for one minute and just, I don't understand it why it's like this, they have to fix it. Maybe it's, maybe it's just about my unit, but maybe somebody will also have the same problem. Again, regarding the sound speaker, it is average ninja. Uh, you're not gonna get anything really good about the sound speaker there the sound volume and the quality is average one to ten five and a half to six point maximum every single redmi device has eight to nine score in my opinion uh, anyway ninjas what else we can see here the camera department low light pictures again redmi device will win over there video stability also it's not that again it's decent but it's not that good as xiaomi devices again xiaomi devices don't offer all this stuff the design the battery the nfc the global bands so just have that in mind i'm not bashing UMDG right now but I'm mashing these cons which you're gonna find it by yourself also the fingerprint sensor is uh, the screen wake up time is a bit slow just have that in mind uh, anything else uh, after that I can't find anything really bad about this device the pros it is the price tag ninjas the price tag the panel the design itself for such a huge uh, you know massive uh, <laughs> battery this is like around 10 millimeter and this is really amazing also it's curved so it's really really easy to use in one hand the price tag the screen the design in just obviously the versatile versatility it has a huge list of 4g lte bands you're going to be more than satisfied using it in eu and in usa especially for the usa viewers right now buyers simply buy it we have all supported bands over there so yes android 10 of course android 10q close to android stock experience it doesn't have chinese bloatware chinese apps chinese uh, uh, commercials so you're not going to be bothered by that again another reason to buy UMDG devices over the huawei or or Redmi devices. Global LTP bands, like we mentioned, three slots, so it, it accepts two nano SIM cards, 4G, Volti, in the same time, dual Volti support in jazz. Yes, 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 indeed. Multifunctional NFC support, it has 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, it has radio FM, voice recorder, many great things, so it has rever reverse charging, 6150 mAh battery, probably the best battery beast on the market for this price tag, you can't find anything better, not any single Xiaomi device can beat UMDG Power 3 in the battery department. Department. So again, multitasking, speed test performance, gaming, really good for the price tag ninjas. You're going to be more than satisfied regarding that. And I do love the front selfie camera. It makes really nice sharp pictures. And also the back camera makes really nice sharp pictures. Again, I'm just not that satisfied with the low light conditions, which is again completely acceptable. Xiaomi is a killer there. And also right now, Realme appeared on the market. Nevertheless, you have four cameras. The mac macro lens, I, 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 I love it. The macro lens, I do love ninjas. And ultra wide camera lens also uh, makes really nice decent pictures so again many great features and i do highly recommend it because there are more pros than the cons for the umidg power 3 and this is again uh, one of those devices which umidg did rock with thank you umidg for making this beautiful interesting device so cheap but so good and offers many great stuff ninjas if somebody bashed to this, this device then he probably been using really expensive devices and he uh, he asks hey, this is what i don't and i'm gonna make a special video about it sorry for making this review so long but i'm gonna make a special video about uh, i'm gonna criticize uh, 
some YouTubers who basically want to have, especially an example on Android at 30, they are popular regarding that. They asking in Xiaomi, they are popular in bashing Xiaomi devices. Example, just check. They are Xiaomi Mi A3 review. They wanted like wireless charging, waterproof feature for a device which is right now selling for $165. Can you believe that, man? It's crazy what these uh, kind of douchebags want to have in a cheap devices. So they, all their life they've been using Samsung and iPhone devices, and suddenly they have they're paying like four, five, six, seven times uh, less, and they want similar. Uh, like similar features which these uh, eight to one thousand one thousand two hundred dollars smartphones have crazy man i don't get them so i'm gonna make a special video about that humidity g power 3 air overall it's a uh, one of the best devices as you can buy for the money redmi note 7 redmi note 8 the best competitor i can mention lenovo devices but again this is uh, this is ninja's android 10q you can't find a device with these specs with the latest android version thank you in advance for watching this video i hope i'm not i didn't bother you too much but again i shared a lot of details with you if i missed something please make sure to forgive me man. Remember the phone calls, I tested the phone calls, the SIM card is inside, 4G works, works, LTE, data mobile works, everything is just fine, activates really quickly. What I can also um, forget to mention, it is the GPS signal, a lot of satellites do not activate, so again, G GPS signal is average, Redmi devices and Realme devices have a better and stronger and more accurate GPS signal than the Umidigi Power 3. This is maybe fixable with feature updates, so Umidigi, please make sure to watch my review and report back to me. <laughs> have a beautiful day. Peace.